And then, and then the world watched April the 27th, 1994. It's a day like no other day in our lives when long, long lines of black and white and colored South Africans, people of all races, uh, were li standing in those lines, uh, snaking their way to the uh, polling booths, or inspiring. We had a relatively peaceful transition to democracy and freedom. And then people said, Ah, they've, yes, I mean, they, they just managed this, just to wait until a black government uh, comes to power. And as sure as anything, you are going to see an orgy of revenge and re retribution. And again, it didn't happen. There, there was this extraordinary process of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission when people who ought to have been by right consumed by bitterness and hatred incredibly incredibly would 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 be remarkably magnanimous human beings are very very odd creatures They sometimes wanted to embrace people who had committed the most ghastly atrocities. And you, could, we, you couldn't have predicted what was going to happen. And let me tell you just one story. How am I? Another five minutes. Five minutes, right, right. Okay. <laughs> you, are, you are nasty. <laughs> in, in, a, in a very nice, a nice kind of way, yes. Nice yes. Uh, there was a massacre that happened when soldiers shot I don't know how many people uh, and, and we were going to have a hearing to investigate what had happened and the hall was patched to the rafters with people who had been injured there, people who had lost loved ones on uh, that incident. And the soldiers came in. Four soldiers came in. One was white. They were the officers. I mean, the, the tension in the room was palpable. You could cut it with a knife. And they walk in. And the white uh, officer is, is the spokesperson of this group. And he says, yes, we gave the instructions for the soldiers to open fire. Woo! The temperature in the room rose several degrees. And then he turned and said, please forgive us. And that angry crowd did something that none of us could have predicted. They broke out in wild applause. And when the applause had subsided, I said to all of us, I was presiding on that occasion, I said, let us keep quiet because really we are in the presence of something holy. We ought 
to take off our shoes because we are standing on holy ground. You can't make anybody forgive another. And yet, when that occurs, it is like saying, I give you another opportunity. To forgive is to say, I give you another chance to make a new beginning. Forgiving is never easy. It's not cheap. For us Christians, you know it cost God the death of God's Son. It isn't anything that you can demand of others. But when it has happened, it has an incredible capacity to change a situation. 